from the educational institution supervising the government secondary school, junior secondary school one and two, as well as the LEA primary school in Nyanya, to the Nyanya General Hospital and Asokoro District Hospital, as well as government science secondary school Piakasa in Maitama. Members of the Senate Committee on FCT took time to inspect facilities after interfacing with the management of the institutions visited. Impressed by the facilities in the FCT hospitals, the committee chairman pledges to support the administration in its quest of upgrading facilities across its hospitals for the benefit of the teaming population. He also requests that a new hospital be constructed in Nyanya to decongest the only government-owned hospital in the area with overstretched facilities. Well, I think the FCT must start looking at establishing more government hospitals to meet the ever increasing. So let me just say that uh, Abuja is uh, a city for all Nigerians and uh, they are free to come in. But the problem is that the burden will keep on increasing on the minister and his team. I think that is my take home. FCT Minister Mohamed Mousabello, represented by the Permanent Secretary, disclosed that the administration has plans to build and install modern facilities such as the MRI, X-ray machines and radiology equipment in Asokoro District Hospital, but urged the National Assembly to ensure adequate budgetary provisions. This partnership is really working for the residents because uh, it's, uh, apparently it has switched some of the challenges of manpower. But notwithstanding, we are aware of these challenges and we are working to address them within the confines of resources we have. Both the leadership of the FCT administration and that of the National Assembly are on the same page of having a developed nation's capital city that is in tune with the dreams of the founding fathers. Onoze Akubu, NTN News.